um, uh, uh, Marge Berthold, and uh, this is Lindsay Owens, uh, let's see, uh, uh, Disability Rights Vermont Organization. Please introduce yourself and your work. My name is Lindsay Owen, and I am the Executive Director of Disability Rights Vermont, and I am also an attorney. Uh, explain what your organization does. Disability Rights Vermont is the protection and advocacy agency for the state of Vermont, so we are federally mandated to investigate abuse and neglect and serious rights violations for people with disabilities throughout the state. Uh, okay, so can I start with the questions? I think that'd be great. Okay, it is necessary, I'm gonna read it and then it'll be you know, sort of a, a, as a question, so. Okay. Uh, it is necessary for my salvation, survival, and preservation uh, that I do not keep repeating myself and explaining over and over what is harmful and not working in Vermont mental health systems to providers, service agencies, and other people I must interact with as consumers of Vermont, uh, Vermont mental health system. Of what more can be done about misunderstandings that are not being corrected? I'm adding some. Okay, thank you for letting me know you added some. Um, so what more can be done? And it sounded like the concern is having to repeat yourself to all of these different organizations and service providers. Um, I think one thing that's helpful for me is to put things in writing um, and that way if you have something in writing that's the plan or the concern, you can refer back to that at a later time and, and that's another way to also make sure that people are on the same page. Um, another way is to make sure that after you've t told somebody your concerns is to have them repeat it back to you so you know that they understand what your concerns are and the issues that you're having. Um, I think it's also helpful to try to come up with next steps and a goal. So when you share concerns, what is it that you want to see change and really identifying that specifically so that you can hold people accountable. But, but then also what you are doing that is helpful to continue to do, like if you know, there are some things that are helpful that you are doing, continue to do it. Sure, absolutely, that's, that's definitely true. Uh, some people in the community think people as a label rather than a whole person. Most people are helpful and think of peep you as a person. What does disability rights do about this and what more can be done? So that's a really important issue, Marge. Um, one thing that we do as a staff is that we try to make sure that we learn about the people that we're serving and we um, get to know them and maybe they have other identities that are helpful to how we work with them and how we serve them. For example, maybe somebody is LGBTQIA or uh, BIPOC and um, it's important to know that people have several different identities and you have to look at somebody as the whole person. Um, as an organization, Disability Rights Vermont does a lot of training around disability etiquette and using uh, person first language, so it's putting the person first rather than the disability. Um, and so we do trainings for service providers and other organizations um, around those types of issues to make sure that people are being respected and treated as individuals. Um, that's also a lot of the work that we do in our investigations and complaints is that typically if an issue arises, it's because assumptions have been made and people aren't um, treated as an individual, but there's been assumptions made about that particular type of disability. Um, and sometimes that leads to adverse treatment of that person. And so we, we try to work on those complaints and investigations in a way that um, starts to break down that issue around uh, treating people as a label. Um, so I wanted us to move on, not stay too long on any one so we okay. get through. Okay. I have experienced several thousand billion million misunderstandings that I need to be relieved of. The help that I have from the disability rights if giving me the survival, uh, and how do you understand this is one of the most important parts of work you do, uh, Vermont mental health system misunderstandings and beyond. 
So it is absolutely one of the most important things that we do at Disability Rights Vermont um, is to listen to you and to listen to other individuals in the community um, to get a real sense of where there are areas for improvement or where there are concerns and it's critical that we have conversations with you and with other people in the community to make sure that we know what's important and what needs to be addressed. Um, and, and I'm losing hope for the billion misunderstandings in Vermont systems and beyond to be resolved. I have hope with yours and others' help. Would like to comment how necessary survival help can happen more and basically doing, continuing what is helpful and even more, doing even more what is helpful. Uh, that's my comment. Uh, what com do you, comment do you have? Well, first, Marge, is I hope you don't lose hope. I know that it can be frustrating at times and it can be easy to feel hopeless when things don't change quickly um, or, or over a really long period of time. But I think um, staying hopeful and just trying to reflect on and look at the steps that this, the mental health system or that you have taken specifically, um, pay attention to the steps that you are making and, and not looking at the mountain that's left to climb and just um, you know, taking things one day at a time. But big change takes time and that's definitely something that Disability Rights Vermont um, is working on currently. Um. Uh, 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 mm, 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 mm. Okay, I have overextended myself over and over to take responsibility for hundreds of misunderstandings in Vermont systems. Well, and also, I'm also adding and also beyond. Um, and I don't want this to be just up to me, surely up to me. I want to make it clear that I do not want this responsibility. Um, I can't do it. It's too much. It's, uh, it will miserably fail. Uh, it, uh, just up to me. Um, I, uh, it, it will. And since, uh, and, uh, since there is some help, it's not just up to me, but there needs to be more help. And uh, it's an enormous responsibility, and I don't want it. It's not healthy. Uh, disability Rights Vermont's help. It's necessary and very helpful. The help I have from you and others is helping my survival. What can you do to keep this help helpful and keep happening? Well, for starters, I think that I will continue to support you um, and our work together and continue our conversations. And I'm, I'll work with, our or organization will work with anyone who feels like they could benefit from DRBT's services, Disability Rights Vermont. Um, and what and about what you're doing that is helpful, um, that you know, you've agreed to do and is helpful, and then my ideas for more things you could do to be helpful because, uh, I'm saying that. Yeah, and I'm always open to hear new ideas about how to improve the mental health system. Um, we are. And what about what you already are doing that's helpful? So, at, at that you've agreed to do. You know, I'm saying I'm just explaining how much I needed that, and so I, I'm I'm right. I'm trying to make that point about le how much I need that. Absolutely, and I just want to go back to you feeling like this is all on your shoulders because it, it really isn't. I want to assure you that Disability Rights Vermont and other organizations either should take some responsibility in helping improve the mental health system or there are organizations that really want to create the change that you want as well. And so Disability Rights Vermont is very committed to collaborating with other groups um, like the Disability Law Project but I'm saying, but this is a personal thing for yep. me, and I, the things you're doing to help me, you know, it still can help, will help other people, but still it needs to help me too and, and be good for me too. And so what I'm saying is what you're doing to help me, um, I'm mentioning that. Yeah, and um, I apologize if I wasn't more clear, but I'll continue to help you and I know that we've had some conversations and you've needed help on a specific task and I've agreed to follow up with different organizations or different um, people in your community and in your network to help resolve your concerns and but, I think uh, that's been working pretty well. And, and, um, um, and, 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 and what about 
and, and mentioning the concerns at, at the meetings. Absolutely. I will continue to let our board know what your concerns are and my staff will continue to be um, aware of what your needs are and what your concerns are. And we will work together to work on the mental health system. Uh, and because um, uh, um, I and because I feel like there's some uh, and, and what and, and then when you said something about uh, working towards a message for NARPA. Oh, yes, that was something that we talked about very briefly. And if that's something you would like to do, then I'm happy to work with you on that. I would like to do that because, see, I don't think I can go. And I've explained the barriers. And I also don't think the people will understand about why I can't go or how, why it's so hard to go and that you'd like to go, but I can't because it's, so it's too hard to travel and because uh, of risk of breaking bones and as you get older and then the stress, everything, I got very sick from what I went through from the stress and so, and, um, and, 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 and it's so hard, it's too hard after everything I've gone through and everything I've suffered and after all, and so I wanted to make, so how will we make the, a message for, for it to get there? Well, when we have our next regular check-in, we can start working on what you'd like to say so that your voice can be heard at NARPA. And, 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 then, and, and then, but how will it be brought? I haven't figured that out yet, Marge, but we I, will. I, I know that there are members of my board um, and my staff who will probably be going, and I just need to do more research to see how we would get that, get your statement out there. But uh, would, would they, but how would, but would they take it? I would hope so, but I can't say for certain what other people will do. Um, but we'll work on it. We can absolutely work on that. Um, okay. okay. Um, 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 I think uh, so. so that's, that, 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 that's that's good because I just you know I'm just trying to you know I just um, you know I'm trying uh, you know I'm just uh, you know because I mean I found that it, I you know I really found that it was helpful going there, be, but, uh, but, you know, I, I'm finding travel too hard, and I, I, you know, I don't know if other, some, you know, I even like travel, but, you know, it's like I find it too hard, and then, uh, and then, uh, and then I got very sick from stress, and, and a lot of things are much harder to do after a traumatic experience, uh, very, you know, and, 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 and for a long time, I was, I was stuck in a, a, a situation, Stress was too much that you know it wasn't healthy and yeah. um, and it, it's it's much healthier and less because there's less stress yeah. but it's uh, still I uh, it's I'm wanting things not to be so hard right. to be, uh, you know uh, if things were you know uh, I mean you want life to be I'm 70 now and you want life to be more enjoy you want you, well I mean I have enjoyable times but you know you want it to be much better uh, right. uh, and not so hard you know as I get older because you know I don't need some of these things that have happened in the Vermont mental health system and, and different things in my life I haven't needed. Well I think you're doing the right thing then and you're really valuing yourself and uh, your own care over maybe going to a conference that might be difficult to do so I think that sounds like the right decision for you and you know um, it sounds like there is a lot of stress, so I just want to make sure that you remember the importance of you know, self-care and taking care of yourself. And it sounds like um, taking some of this off of your plate and letting Disability Rights Vermont and others kind of work on, the, uh, on improving the mental health system would be helpful for you and would be the way to go. And also I'm at risk for falling. Right, and that's scary. Uh, and I have fallen, broken bones. I uh, dislocated uh, a left shoulder 100%, and then the, and then when I had this this uh, broke a, a finger, they, uh, I told them for months, and and then finally after months they they gave an X-ray. They said it's all healed. There's nothing we can do. But I don't think there's much they can do for a finger, is there? Oh, geez, I'm not a doctor. <laughs> I don't know what they would, what can be done for a broken finger. Um, and then um, that was in 2014, and then 2011, when, they, when I had chest pains from stress that didn't stop, they gave me nicoglycerin. I went to the, uh, uh, the hospital, and they, they said, uh, it, it, uh, they don't, didn't know if it was a stroke, uh, but if, if so, it wasn't permanently damaged. Um, uh, it would have been a small stroke. They had me, uh, stay overnight in the hospital, 
And then they said the next day I could go. I was taking, I, you know, I, at the time, you know, that was in 2011, and I was taking 25 my, micrograms of thyroid, because the thyroid wasn't working properly. Then they said it, they went to 50 micrograms. And then last year in 2021, in um, July, they said it went to 75 micrograms of thyroid, because it wasn't not working properly without a thyroid medicine. Um, and, uh, I, you know, I think, do you think stress probably affects every, all of that probably? Oh, absolutely. Stress contributes to so many physical health problems. It's really important to try and monitor how you're, how you're feeling and how you're doing, because it absolutely impacts the rest of your health. Um, and, uh, uh, and, 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 and see, um, and, and do you think emotional suffering affects it? Absolutely. And uh, traumatic, traumatic experiences? Definitely, yes. Uh, I, 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 I was wondering, how, how much more time do we have left? Because I, I don't want to, I want to be able to finish if we start something. You've gone 15 minutes, and if you want to keep going, you can. Okay, uh, what do you uh, want to do to help get, uh, you, what do you need to get, to get your job done and continue to be helpful? What do you need for, 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 for your job? What do I need for my job? Um, practically, uh, we need two staff attorneys. We're a little short-staffed at the moment. Um, for me personally to get my job done, I could use another day of the week. Um, but just kidding, I know that that's not possible. Um, you know, I think just having mutual understandings about people needing more time to get things done, I need to really carve out some time. But, you know, this conversation is really great and I'm very thankful that you invited me here today to talk with you. Um, and so just communication, I think, is key. And that's the way that I get my job done is to make sure that I'm talking with everyone that I need to be talking with um, to I'll, start to address issues. Um, I wanted to say that, see, NARPA is at different places uh, each year. I mean, it, 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 and it's at, sometimes it, it's at some of the same places, but then some of the same places it isn't. And because uh, I've gone to many of them before, and I just, I don't know if that answers your question. I mean, you asked me about, about, where, about where it was. Does that answer it? Yes, that answer is it. I know that it's, um, I know where it is this year. Uh, right, no, I'm just um, explaining. Um, I know uh, uh, Susan Steffen told me it was going to be in West Virginia. Um, Did they change it? I believe it's in Newark, New Jersey. Oh, they changed it. Yeah, they must have. I, mean, I just, I saw it online. Well, okay, they must have changed it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm saying that, you know, I'm, I mean, anyway. Um, for whatever reason, I guess you know they are. They, you know. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what happened, but I believe that it's in New Jersey this year. Well, I I, I could name um, a lot of different places I went to, but um, I guess that's not necessary. For, I mean, I've gone to a lot of places, but I mean, I don't think that's uh, uh, necessary for you to understand about it being in a different place each year. Um, no, thank you. I understand. Thank you for letting us do this. It's really helpful to get this message out to the public. And um, thank you very much. And thank you, Lindsay, for coming and doing this. Um, and thank you, Channel 17 and Megan, for helping us. And thank you, Marge, for inviting me. And Ashley and Theo. Oh, and Ashley and Thea. And Theo. Theo. Oh, Theo. Yeah. And, uh, and, how, and what about the whole... I know, but but what about the whole Channel 17 or whatever you're called? Town Meeting TV. It's what? You can say thank you to the whole Town Meeting TV. Okay, thank you for to the whole Town Meeting TV uh, for because I I mean you're all part of helping have this happen, aren't you? Yes. I mean, don't you want to give credit to everyone? I do. All right. Thank you, March. Yep. Thank you.